hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we have a special special update so i promised myself that i'll be doing this if i continue doing youtube and continue doing fsd videos and yes this is the infamous hdmi mod so yeah i got the box right now i got the mod done by adam uh, if you guys don't know adam i'll tag him on uh, on the video here and i'll showcase his twitter account um so yeah this is an expensive mod so uh, my thoughts basically, this is like, I've been doing FSD videos for around two years now. Uh, September 2022 was my first video that I came out. And thanks to all of you folks um, and all the support, I really want to improve my quality of my videos. So I'm doing this HDMI mod and this is an expensive one. So don't I don't really recommend it or anything like that. But it's something that I want to do because I want to further grow my channel and improve my quality of videos like i said so um so yeah let's get to it let's do the unboxing and i'll show the installation and then i'll show a little bit of the of the recording hopefully everything works out well today because i'm going to be traveling tomorrow to uh, on a road trip so it's going to be a little bit tight timeline for me so yeah let's get right into it right into the unboxing all right let's get into the unboxing right now So this was in the works for like maybe two months. Um, the problem is we couldn't really get the right screen for the or the right version of the screen for the right car. Um, since a lot of the um, secondhand displays that are being sold right now for the Model Ys are, uh, are actually just for the, the new Model Ys, the new versions with the AMD processor. But mine's an old one, so mine's the Intel one. Yeah, here you go. Adam did a really good job with packaging. Everything's very safely, safely put in there. You can see this is not his first time doing this. <laughs> so, all right. And that's basically it. All you get is the screen. Careful here with this. I'm basically gonna use the same box just to put my OEM screen in there and then uh, uh, protect it until uh, I don't need this anymore, the screen mod, and then I can switch it back. I love the protection and uh and the care put into packaging this thank you so much adam if you're watching this there we go that's the screen it's just the normal screen and a very nicely 3d printed box over here with the hdmi out as you can see it over here can't wait to install this let's get into the installation bit what we need is um, a torque wrench um, 10 millimeters and uh, we need a screwdriver this is to pop the panel at the bottom for the sensor and then this is a torx uh torx 30 i think um, this is the size that you need i'm not too sure if i need this yet but i've got it prepared uh, anyhow and um yeah what i'll do is i'll get a blanket and put it down here so that if the screen does fall down when i'm doing this it doesn't get damaged all right let's start with popping out the plastic bit at the bottom so what i'm going to do first of all i've got an accessory here that i'm going to take off it's just a magnetic one um, pop off this plastic bit without uh, breaking it so this is the plastic uh, piece at the bottom where the temperature sensor lies and if you see that slot that's where you need to put your screwdriver and pop it open so first thing you need to do is put, go to the display and put the screen clean mode on so when you pop off the panel, you can see there's a small tab right there on the side of the connector. All you need to do is push that in and then you can slide off the, the whole temperature sensor connector. So now we're gonna locate the, the bolts down there. So you can see there are two bolts down there. Those are the ones that you need to remove. So here's the first bolt from the left side. I just loosened the one on the right side. So all I do is just continue to take it off. There we go. So this is the right one. And then all you do is just wiggle the screen a little bit and it should here we go, and it should slide off. We'll 
then you can just lower it down onto the towel that we have over here. So now that we took down the OEM screen, that's the connector that we need to take out the one at the bottom of the screen there and we'll switch it up with the with the one that we the modeled one that we got. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take off this housing around the screen so that I can get to the main connector in a better way using the T30. Here we go. And now we've got this plastic thing loose. So now we can get to the main connector here. And what we need to do is we need to take off this plastic first. Here we go. If you press on one of the sides of the plastic and then you kind of pinch these two or like bend them a little bit, it comes off. So the purple plastic has this lock at the side it's a small plastic that you need to kind of press if you can see it on the left hand side you press that and then you start wiggling the plastic piece just to get it out and then it does uh, disconnect at that point so just holding down that piece of plastic and then not pulling on the wires you can slowly it's kind of hard to get into that uh, If you wiggle the plastic connector while you're pressing that, it should pop off. At this point, the plastic lock is kind of suppressed. So that means it's working. Just continue wiggling. Might need to press it a little bit with a screwdriver here. Here we go. So we got it out all in one piece without any issues. Okay, so right now we'll take out the housing the plastic housing around the screen and then I'll put uh, the T30 screw back together as well. and we'll save the screen for when we want to remove the mod. Now we'll bring our modded screen so all we gotta do is place the purple connector back in and all you hear is a click and that means it's it's back in properly. Maybe I'll take out this plastic this white plastic harness since it's a little bit tight in there with the mod yeah let's get rid of we'll get rid of, get rid of this one i don't think we'll need it we'll put it with the oem stuff so right now all we need to do is bolt this back and then we can connect our sensor again and place the plastic back into the 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 neck over here okay so all we need to do is now bolt this back and we can already see that the screen is lit up Here we go. And this concludes installing the modded screen. So the touch screen is not really working. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and reset the car and see if that works. So I held down the two buttons on the steering wheel to see if that restarts the car. All right. So the reset just worked right now. And uh, yeah, everything's working again. So the touchscreen is responsive again. So that's very good. So let's go right straight into testing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install my capture card, connect it, and uh, we'll do a quick uh, test on the out HDMI input or output from the screen and see how that works. And I'll show you right here. So the only thing remaining is actually putting this cabin uh, temperature sensor back. Here we go. It does actually fit. That's great. All right. Oh, good. Now we'll clean up and we'll do the uh, we'll do the testing, and I'll show you guys. So what we have here, I've got just a normal HDMI cable here. Um, I did buy this this dongle. It's called Uni. I'll put the link at the at the description of the video be below. Um, and I do. It does have a 
micro SD USB thing here and uh, an Elgato capture card. So this is where my HDMI will get captured and I'll just plug this into one of my a secondary phone that I have and I'll just keep it in the car and that's how I'll basically record. I'll put the link to the app that I'm going to be using uh, in the description below as well. So just so you know folks, none of this has been um, sponsored. So this is just all um, stuff that I bought with uh, with my own money here. Um, so yeah, um, we'll, we'll do the testing and we'll come back and, and we'll talk about the, uh, and we'll wrap up the video very quickly here. We'll go out for a short drive. Okay, so I've got my um, my dongle here connected to my phone, as you can see, and I've got my HDMI connected over here, and you can see the screen is actually coming up, popping up over here. So I'm going to try and record, and uh, I'll see how the quality looks like. Um, I want to try and record to the USB connected, so let me see here if that works. So here I'll just go through my um, through my screen over here and do a little bit of maybe let's go to down to our release notes and see how that looks like. So yeah, I am on FSD twelve dot three dot six. I am still waiting for dot four dot dot four dot three. Okay, and then assuming this looks okay, I'm going to head out and see how that looks as well. Uh, do a little bit of recording with FSD. Okay, folks, so this is testing now the HDMI output screen mod uh, using FSD version 12.3.6. And we are headed out to Petfinity. It's just a, a dog, dog um, facility nearby here. Hopefully the screen looks really good. I am really excited. I just did the very first test and uh, just in the garage and it looked really, really good. So I'm very excited to use this for all my FSD testing. And if you folks like this upgrade, please, please give me a like and also subscribe to my channel. If you are a long term um, viewer, please hit the subscribe if you're not subscribed and I'd uh, really appreciate it. It'll help grow my channel. Uh, from now on, this is going to be the setup, uh, especially with active monitoring coming nearby, um, you know, rolling out right now as we speak. Um, I still didn't get it with the first few waves, so I'm hoping for the next one coming up soon. Yeah, please, folks, let me know what do you think about the video right now, the um, placement of the camera and uh, the way my uh, my screen looks if there's anything i can improve please do let me know um i'm very happy with the setup right now uh, i want to showcase the whole steering wheel so that uh, i can show that i'm not touching the steering wheel i know that's something that a lot of folks keep asking around on x uh, on youtube please let me know what do you think uh, we'll just hit here a few stop signs and we'll call it a day so yeah thank you so much for watching this video of the screen mod the installation the review and the wrap up right now there's a few cars coming in from the right and the left as you can see on my screen uh, so yeah we should be good to go right now nicely executed the stop sign is a little bit problematic normally on FSD and a nice boost as usual so hope you folks like this video and yeah uh, we'll see you in version 12.4.6 or dot four dot version 12.4.3 coming out soon. Um, so yeah, we'll see you soon and hope you folks have a good one. Have a nice day.